Hey, it's Wabbit. I'm going low production value, old school, but a uh, little inspiration, a little break from the last couple of videos of me just talking. I'm in the midst of uh, moving and uh, a lot of the things have been kind of packed up, but I thought, you know what, let's uh, go back to kind of where uh, it didn't really start for me in Logic. It did GarageBand, but I wanted to just offer a suggestion to you if you are creating YouTube videos, an alternative to paying a company uh, 10, 20 bucks a month to get music uh, when you most likely have it in your computer. Uh, I am not endorsing anything here. I'm not saying you have to get these things. Uh, these are things that I've, I've accumulated over time. Um, I did pay for Logic Pro when I was doing some student learning, so I got an education discount. Uh, and then I bought this plug-in, Melody Sauce 2. Um, if you're unfamiliar with any of these things, please do a search on YouTube. Uh, I am not a musician. I do not understand music theory, despite having tried to mess around with it. For me, it's just personally frustrating. And I find no fun in trying to learn it. And I just, it's just me. Uh, so I enjoy music. I enjoy messing around. I enjoy noodling. And I am comfortable being an amateur hobbyist and pushing buttons to generate sound for me. I own that. <laughs> With that being said, you have tools where you can just make some background music. Whether you want it for your entire video or as I like to do the intro and the open, the ending, I just want to suggest that you consider it. Don't worry about how it sounds. And the cool thing about Logic Pro, again, I'm focusing on this, is you've got these Apple loops. And then combined with Melody Sauce, combined with all of the tons of libraries that you have in here, this is, I'm not saying this is all you need. I, I think that's an unfair statement, but this is a great starting point. So any gear that I may have used on this channel or will use, you don't need any of that. And I think many will agree with it, but some of us just, we just like gear. <laughs> so um, I plan on doing something a little bit later on where I just pull up Logic Pro and, and walk you through the steps that I'm using um, but here I just kind of pulled something up and really the idea is just to inspire you. So what I have is I have a beat that I picked. I created an audio track and then I just picked, um, a synthesizer sound. I went with EDM bass and dark bass drive. I pulled in melody sauce and then I just generated about, uh, 10 different patterns by clicking on these buttons. That's what this melody bank is over here. So all I'm going to do is just jam. I'm going to play a little bit. This is not about how this thing sounds. This is not about being perfect. It's none of that. I really want you to take away, I mean, hey, if, if, you, if you move and it's catchy, awesome. Uh, but what my goal is, is to get you to consider some alternatives. Uh, I think one, it can be fun. Two, you might come across something that, wow, that's, that's really awesome. And you may want to learn more. And if you already have these things, when you do the math, just think about this before I hit play. Say you're spending 20 bucks a month on a site to get yourself some music. Do the math over a year. Maybe put that towards gear. Uh, take your significant other out to dinner. Get something you want for yourself. Just a different way of thinking about it. So that being said, just have a little bit of fun.
that's it. Uh, again, you can take something like that, chop it up, um, you know, make a recording for a couple of minutes and then, you know, make the intro fade it out, put your outro and you're good. Uh, again, obviously if you have been doing this thing for a while, this may not be your cup of tea. That's cool. It's just something to consider. Uh, if you are much further along than I am, then you can, uh, just for example here, I've got uh, a little keyboard down here and I could actually come in or you come in there and you know, create your own stuff. So again, the sky's really the limit. That's really the purpose of this is to, again, if you don't have a ton of stuff, but you've got a computer, especially if you're rocking the Mac platform, GarageBand is free. Um, I'll do some of those down the road, but really uh, I just want to take this opportunity since I've got a lot of things packed up. Um, hey, just have some fun. And really end of the day, that's what this whole thing is about is having fun and uh, just messing around and, and seeing what you come up with. All right, that's all I got. Uh, I hope this finds you well. I hope you are having a good holiday season. And uh, just keep moving and grooving. Take care.